reviewing Nail Card is My Darling by Golda Free. I really like Golda's main character, Alice Charles. She has such a sweet demeanor to her. She's one of those children that you would think you'd just see playing by herself in a park and you'd feel really bad for if she was a child. But she's not. She's a young lady going off for the first time to Montreal by herself. How scary that would be. I'd be freaking out. She meets a lot of new friends. She starts going to the film society, which is really awesome because I love film, though I don't know much about them. <laughs> and then she meets this mysterious man named Nelcott. He teaches her about life. He brings her out of her shell and brings her into reality that life is not all pretty little flowers and everything, that there is issues in life. You have to struggle to become something better. And Alice learns that the hard way. She learns the struggle of a relationship for the first time. She learns the struggle of trying to live in a dorm with some crazy people like Allegra, who's so artsy that she's like in awe of all of the art that Allegra can do, which is really cool because I like art too. I love the way it's written. It has such a fluid and easy read that anybody could read it. I mean, literally anybody could read it. And I like how you stay in Alice's head. Like, you never know what Alice is going to do next. It's a very lovely love story between a girl that's completely clueless about life and a man who understands that life isn't so sweet and tries very carefully to bring her from the darkness of innocence or the veil of innocence to the reality of that life is sweet. I like when Alice and one of her friends go to the party and actually meet Nelcott for the very first time and how complicated that situation was because there's so much action going on and Alice was trying to focus on exactly what Nelcott was saying with all the loud commotion around, which is really hard to do sometimes. And you could truly see that Alice was trying to hear everything Nelcott was saying but couldn't because of all the people yelling and screaming around her. Um, personally, I've never been to Montreal, so this was actually the first time I actually had ever, I mean, I've heard of Montreal before, but I didn't really know anything about, like, how the city was laid out, how there was all these little unique little shops, which you do see unique little shops in this book, like, where Nelcott live, uh, works in a CD store, or record store, I'm not really sure which one it was, I can't remember, and how he lives in this quaint little apartment with a roommate, and they have this really interesting table that they found in a park that they use, park bench thing, I don't know what it was, and there's like all these little carvings in it, so that's really interesting. Oh yeah, I know a little bit of French, but not enough to say that I could live in Montreal for any extended time.